Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. Foxconn is receiving preferential treatment from Apple, likely due to its scale, capacity, established supply chain integration, and operational and geopolitical flexibilities. This preference positions Foxconn as a key player in Apple's strategy to diversify its manufacturing locations. This move could mark the first instance of Apple manufacturing its higher-end Pro and Pro Max models in India. Until now, the assembly in India primarily included the Vanilla and Plus models. The shift to producing higher-end models demonstrates Apple's confidence in India's manufacturing capabilities and the maturity of its supply chain infrastructure. Apple has been progressively deepening its manufacturing capabilities with partners in India each year. The consideration for producing Pro models has been on the table for the last couple of years. This strategic expansion highlights Apple's long-term commitment to strengthening its manufacturing footprint in India, potentially leading to more diverse and advanced production in the future. At WWDC, Apple introduced its Apple Intelligence AI initiative, generating significant excitement among developers and users. This initiative promises to enhance the user experience through advanced AI-driven features integrated into Apple's ecosystem. Initially, Apple hinted at a summer release for the Apple Intelligence AI on its developer website. The original message stated, Apple Intelligence will be available in an upcoming beta this summer. This announcement suggested that some of the AI features would be accessible early to those participating in the iOS 18 beta program. Midway through the month, Apple modified the statement, removing any indication that the AI features would be available early via the beta program. This change in communication could be due to various reasons, such as development delays or a strategic decision to refine the features further before public testing. The alteration underscores the company's cautious approach to ensuring that the AI functionalities meet high standards before release. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported that Apple plans to roll out Apple Intelligence through software updates arriving in October. This strategic timing allows Apple to ensure a smooth integration of AI features across its devices. Gurman revealed that sources, who wish to remain anonymous due to the sensitivity of the information, indicated that the AI features would become available a few weeks after the stable versions of iOS 18 and iPadOS 18 are released in September. This staggered release allows Apple to address any initial issues with the new operating systems before introducing the advanced AI functionalities. The October updates will be crucial for Apple users eagerly awaiting the enhanced capabilities promised by Apple Intelligence. These updates are expected to bring significant improvements, leveraging AI to enhance the user experience and add new, innovative features to Apple's ecosystem. Mark Gurman noted that Apple Intelligence will start rolling out to developers as soon as this week with the iOS 18.1 and iPadOS 18.1 beta releases. This early access allows developers to begin integrating and testing the new AI features within their apps, ensuring they are ready for the public launch. The stable version of iOS 18, set to be released in October, may mean that early units of the iPhone 16 will ship without Apple Intelligence pre-installed. This gap highlights Apple's phased approach to rolling out major updates, ensuring stability and performance are prioritized before adding new features. Apple plans to release Apple Intelligence through multiple software updates spanning late 2024 and the first half of 2025. This staggered rollout strategy allows Apple to progressively introduce and refine AI features, ensuring a smooth and optimized user experience while continuously enhancing device capabilities over time. Apple Intelligence will be available exclusively to iPhone models equipped with 8GB of RAM. This means that users of certain models will be able to take full advantage of the new AI features. The eligible models include iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro Max. These models meet the RAM requirement and will benefit from the advanced capabilities offered by Apple Intelligence, enhancing their overall functionality and performance. With the combination of a larger battery and faster charging speeds, the iPhone 16 Pro Max promises better battery life and quicker recharging compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. 
These upgrades are designed to enhance the user experience by minimizing downtime and maximizing usability. The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are rumored to support enhanced charging speeds, with up to 40W for wired charging and 20W for MagSafe wireless charging. These peak rates represent significant improvements over the previous generation's 27W wired and 15W MagSafe speeds. However, it's important to note that these peak speeds are typically achieved only at specific points during the charging process, and actual charging times may vary. While the rumored 40W wired and 20W MagSafe wireless charging speeds for the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max represent notable advancements, the real impact on charging times remains to be seen. These higher peak rates are expected to improve overall charging efficiency, but actual charging durations will depend on various factors throughout the charging process. The primary goal behind increasing charging speeds is to offset the anticipated increase in battery capacity for the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max. Apple aims to ensure that the new models charge at least as quickly as their predecessors, despite having larger batteries. This approach helps maintain a balance between extended battery life and efficient charging times, aligning with user expectations for fast and convenient power replenishment. A previous rumor suggested that the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max would benefit from the exact improvements in charging speeds we're now hearing about. This includes the potential for 40W wired and 20W MagSafe wireless charging. Additionally, these models are rumored to incorporate stacked battery technology. This innovative approach is expected to provide higher battery capacities and longer lifespans, aligning with the increased battery sizes anticipated for these new models. As with previous years, Apple is expected to unveil the iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro Max, iPhone 16, and iPhone 16 Plus in September. This launch will showcase the new features and advancements that have been rumored and speculated, providing users with a closer look at what to expect from Apple's latest offerings. Apple is reportedly planning to manufacture the iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro Max, and the new iPad in Sriparambudur, Tamil Nadu. This strategic move could not only boost local manufacturing but also reduce dependency on other countries, making production more efficient and streamlined. The new iPhones might come equipped with a graphite sheet inside. This addition is likely aimed at improving thermal management. The graphite sheet can help dissipate heat more effectively, ensuring that the device remains cool during intensive tasks, thereby enhancing overall performance and longevity. The iPhone 16 lineup's 5G modem might not be as advanced as those expected in future models like the iPhone 17 lineup or the iPhone SE set to release in 2025. While the current modem is expected to deliver robust 5G performance, future iterations are likely to offer even faster speeds and more efficient connectivity, marking a significant upgrade in Apple's technological advancements. Apple, as part of its strategy to diversify production away from China, might have its supplier Foxconn manufacture the iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro Max, and iPads in India. This shift could significantly reduce Apple's reliance on Chinese manufacturing and enhance its supply chain resilience. The domestically made iPhones could be available to Indian buyers within fiscal 2024. This local production is expected to meet the growing demand in the Indian market more efficiently and could potentially lead to cost benefits for consumers in the region. The iPhone 16 series is anticipated to launch on September 10th, with the first sale set for September 20th. This timeline aligns with Apple's traditional release schedule, ensuring that eager customers won't have to wait long to get their hands on the latest models. Apple supplier Foxconn is set to commence the New Product Introduction NPI, process for the iPhone 16 Pro models at its factory in Sriparambudur, Tamil Nadu. This crucial phase involves preparing the production lines, finalizing designs, and ensuring all systems are ready for mass production. Mass production of the iPhone 16 Pro series will begin after the official launch in September. This ensures that the manufacturing process is aligned with the product release, allowing for a smooth transition from introduction to full-scale production. The India-made iPhones are expected to be available in the market sometime before the end of this fiscal year. Initially, to meet the demand, Apple might rely on imports, but as local production ramps up, 
Indian buyers will have quicker access to these domestically manufactured devices. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.